this is the integration of events, the film industry and the live lighting industry. The uh, viewer gets the perception of, a, of an incredible 3D environment. No other luxury brands have attempted anything like this. Incorporating the real footage of real products, real models, real horses into a 3D environment where that action has a relationship with the building itself. It's actually bigger than IMAX. It's higher resolution than IMAX. We shot giant green screens in New York. We built a set that was a third of the size of each of the New York and the London buildings. And Josh, we're missing a uh, we're missing a sky pan in the corner. Okay, if you could give us the other doorway, please, Josh. I mean, as long as he walks down the centre of the step. Right. So let's move Luke's position into horse stage centre. The models could then walk out of the building and be given the impression that they are floating in space. Uh, Ralph Lauren himself came to the runway shoot. Yeah, to lean out a little bit. We shot polo ponies, a polo game in Oxfordshire. The polo scene, we put up a 30 metre by 10 metre green screen. Because we're shooting a building projection, we're having to always think about the end application, so it's been quite a technical shoot, I think, but it's all going quite well. We created the look and feel of a polo game in front of green screen such that we could then key out the horses and the riders against any of their background and then superimpose it with drop shadow and with all sorts of other techniques onto the facade of the building. You'll hear the thunder of the, uh, the hooves of the horses and then you'll see the kind of the polo players kind of launching from the building. You'll see kind of masonry flying. So that's the, uh, that's the kind of the type of footage that we're trying to capture today. So it's the drama and the intensity of the game. If you stand that side or this side, you'll die. That's not good, and it's a lot of paperwork. So, sweeping for the sun, guys. Quickly, it's clear, the light's good. I need to shoot. Okay, let's go for it. Okay, let's turn over. Speed, action! It's a real joy to go out and shoot 35 mil, you know, instead of shooting stuff digital because obviously the end product is so beautiful. And we shot the forensic details of the products in uh, a London studio. Can you start spinning it and then I can I just do my checks, please? No movement though, because otherwise we'll get reflections. And it's been an amazing challenge to work alongside their, their creative team who understand the brand so well. Yeah. This is our name. Uh, defining the shape of the building is actually an important moment. Then we have the light sources, those beautiful lights that you have the spotlights coming from below. And that's coming off the, the light line and we're going like this and that will right. just fade. Off. We looked at the example of the 888 building that was just built in New York, in the Ralph Lauren building, and it has some majestic staircases and marble on the floor. A Hollywood moment where those stairs are white marble. And D3 is a video media server uh, that has been designed and built uh, and developed over the last couple of years. I've got a D3 rig here and this D3 rig basically allows us to do four HD movies, composite 3D projections onto buildings. Where we've got a 3D laser scan of the Ralph Lauren building. Uh, this building has been um, captured from a, using a laser uh, scanning technique similar to building surveying. Um, and it's accurate to within plus or minus five millimetres. So what we need to do is basically design the sets so that they match the perspective. So lo lots of different modular elements. So we've plotted the moves of where all the models are going to move. There's a catwalk which is going to protrude from the buildings. As you can see here, what I'm doing is I'm just panning around the 3D view. And this point in time, I'm inside the building, and as I pan around, I reach into Bond Street here in London. As we reach to the critical point of view, you can see that the building looks absolutely perfect. The moments where we introduce the fragrance scene, we will be experiencing that uh, olfactorily as well. So it becomes a piece of advertising within an art installation.
us the opportunity to create something really special and magnificent and memorable. This established brand are striding into the 21st century with the way that they approach the, their communications. We're always interested in pushing the envelope and um, not only with our software but also of our imagination.